Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video about this thing here. This is a little bit odd. Let me kind of admit that from the off. This is one of those things that I got in that I started playing with, thinking I'd get it in for one thing, but it's ended up being incredibly useful for lots of other things. It looks like a miniature hairdryer. I've actually adapted mine so it sits on a tripod, but more about that in a moment. And this is the GE Power Jet Fan. Now this is a little battery powered air blower. It doesn't heat the air or anything, but it has four different settings. And I use a really old, terrible 20 millimeter fan like this on the desk to try and blow air over things like DJI air units, things like Walksnail avatar units, and technology that tends to get quite hot when it's sat on the bench, when I have it powered, I like airflow over it. So I saw this and I thought, you know what, let me get it in to give it a go. And I've got it in thinking, well, this will be a great thing to just blow air on something like that. And yeah, you know what? It blows air, kind of does that really well. However, it turns out it's a really blooming useful thing to have on your desk. And it's probably going to save me a fortune in the long term because I go through quite a lot of cans of canned air, which I use to blow uh, things clean, things like the beds of 3D printers, um, when I'm detailing my car, or just getting all of the dust and debris out of the inside of a quadcopter when it's landed in a really nasty place and got completely covered in grass and mud. In terms of the specs, I've seen it online for just under $60, which isn't cheap if you're just looking for a simple air blower, but it's a very decent weight and feels nice to use. It has a battery capacity of 1100 milliamp hours charged from the base using a USB-C cable supplied. Charging time is about three hours. The weight is around 300 grams. It's really quite a weighty thing. Size is 35 by 72 by 126 millimeters. And on the lowest air setting, you'll get around-ish four hours of continual air. In terms of the features, well, there isn't really a lot to show, to be honest. On the bottom, there is the USB-C port, which is where you plug it in to charge it. The middle button is the power button. You press and hold that, and the four indicators above that light up one by one, and then it's powered on. And then the button on the side, you briefly press to release the air, and as soon as you let go, it stops. However, if you're pressing that button on the side and you briefly press the power button while that's happening, it then becomes an on-off button, which is a lot more useful for the hobby. And then you can press the bottom button, short press, to change the amount of air that's coming through, and it has four levels. The first level is a nice gentle airflow, about what I'm getting out of that little 20 millimeter fan. It's enough to stop something like a DJI Air unit or a Walksnail avatar getting too hot on the bench when you're doing something like a firmware update. However, the other three modes increase the air dramatically. And on the top level, it's putting out quite a lot of air. And there is this adapter that can screw on the end with a little flexible hose that really directs the air into a very powerful stream. The other option that's available on the bottom is that if you press and keep pressing the power button, there are two LEDs that come on that you can use as a torch. It's a bit of an afterthought and a gimmick in my humble opinion. If you're gonna put lights anywhere, put them to shine in the same direction as the direction that you're blowing the air. Now, as you can see here, I actually, 3D printed a mount for mine that's screwed into this little holder. And this means that I can just pop it on the desk, set the air for the amount of air that I want, point it at the, whatever it is that I want it to blow air on, turn it on and just leave it there. And it's incredibly useful and far better than that horrible little 20 millimeter fan thing that I was trying to use for the last three or four years. However, what I've found since I've got this in is that it is a lot more useful for lots of other stuff. Not only is it handy for doing things like cooling air units, which was kind of the reason that I got it, which is a very expensive thing to get to just cool an air unit for the times you're doing the update, but it's coming for lots of other things. So for example, cleaning the bed of my 3D printer and getting rid of all the dust, I can just blast it away with this. Things like demisting the lenses of FPV cameras and goggles turns out is very handy with this. Also cleaning dust from lots of other places as well. So for example, when I've been detailing the car, as I mentioned in the beginning, getting all those nooks and crannies, being able to blow the dust out of things like the recess in the door handle that always tends to get lots of crumbs and bits down the bottom is 
great. It's really handy. And because it's small and quite powerful and the battery lasts forever, it's amazing how often I've reached for this to do stuff that normally I'd just be using a blast of canned air. Other examples include doing stuff like cleaning my keyboard, where blasting all of the rubbish out from between the keys is incredibly great with it on the high setting, and doing things like when my local laser printer decided it didn't want to print double-sided, kind of cleaning the rollers out and getting all the dust out from inside too. So it's actually turned into a very handy little thing. There are only a couple of things that I wish this had. A clearer charge level indicator I think would have been nice. Some sites had a little LCD panel by the side, similar to what's on powered screwdrivers would have been nice. Um, I think there should have been an ability to attach it to a tripod like this in the box. It's incredibly useful for radio control, but it turns out lots of other things too. Um, even if it's just having a stream of air in your face, uh, like use it like a fan when you're on a call to keep you cool. But I think that that would have been a nice addition. I have put this adapter that I've built here on Thingiverse if you have one of these and you want to download it. I would like the buttons to be a little bit more sensitive. Uh, the one on the side is great. This one, I need to be quite aggressive with it in order for it to work. Not a big deal. I was just being a little bit too light with the pressure. Uh, this one, on this one particular one that I have here, you need to kind of press quite firmly in order to turn it on and off. Not necessarily a bad thing, but when you're changing things like the power levels, um, you seem to have to catch it in the right place. And as I said, the LEDs at the bottom feel a little bit of an afterthought, um, a bit of an odd thing to have on there. I would have preferred them somewhere else, ideally pointing in the direction that the air's coming in would have been quite nice, particularly when I'm cleaning the printer bed behind me and getting rid of all the smuts from that um, when it's a bit darker in here. So in summary, this is one of those gadgets that I thought I'd show you. I sometimes get stuff in here that you kind of go, oh, that's really good. And then you put it on the bench and you never really use it again. This is one of those weird ones that I got in thinking, well, it's kind of okay. You know, I'll use it instead of my terrible 20 millimeter fan thing that I built that doesn't really work very well. But it's turned out to be <laughs> useful in so many other ways. So I will put a link down below if you want to go and have a look at this. But this is the G Power jet fan i just thought it might be interesting to those of you that look at it if you are one of those people that goes through a lot of canned air for cleaning and um, getting rid of dust and debris from places um, this might be worth a look because rather than being rechargeable it means that it's probably a better way than using lots and lots of cans Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.